Okay, so I want to clarify one point about Docker volumes. If I do docker compose up dash D again, I haven't added our application service yet. I'm going to do docker volume ls and look at all these volumes we have here. I made a mistake. See, every time we spin this up, it's making two more volumes because the Redis container and the MySQL container each get a volume assigned. It's not actually reusing my cache or my DB data volumes. So we need to fix this. Okay, and the way to do this is just like with our networks, we need to tell the cache and the database services to use the volumes that we made. So we're gonna use the volumes, again, it's plural, and we're gonna tell it to use the volume, uh, let's see, I'm in the cache service, so I'm gonna do the cache data volume. And down here for the database, tell it to use volumes, and in this case, we only have one for the database as well, it's gonna be the DB data volume. Okay, we're not done here. So the DB data volume is gonna get used, but it needs to get shared to a location in the container. So remember the database one was var lib mysql, and the Redis one we can actually look up. So over here in Safari, we will go to hub.docker.com, and I'll do an underscore and go to Redis to get to the official Redis image. And here we'll see Alpine exists, right? This is the one I grabbed, just named Alpine. In this case, it's 4.09. The one is just Alpine here, the latest. So we'll grab this Docker file and we'll search for volume and volume is just at slash data. So over here, the volume cache data can just get shared into the container at the slash data directory. Okay, so now Docker Compose is gonna reuse these volumes. So let's go down here, let's do Docker volume remove, and I'm actually gonna remove all of them again. So Docker volume ls-q. Okay, so that removed all of them, and except for these, it's unable to remove them because they're actually in use. So let's do Docker Compose down. Now I'm just gonna kill them all again because I don't care about any of the data in them. So docker volume ls, there's none left. Docker compose up dash d. So we're gonna restart our create containers here. We're gonna have docker compose do that. Docker volume ls, great. Okay, so there's only two now and that's all we want. So um, let's do docker compose down again and then do docker compose up dash d again. So I wanna do a complete life cycle here, destroying everything and recreating everything again and docker volume ls is here. Great, so now we still only have two containers. It didn't keep recreating new containers and the Redis container, the Redis service, and the database service, the database container, are gonna keep reusing these volumes.